Good evening, folks. Once again, I am the Master of Ceremonies, the King of Kings, Daimondo. Yesterday, I uh, didn't feel up for doing this Gaia 4, so tonight, we're finally diving back in and going through Chapter 8 of this Gaia 4. Now, before we begin, you know what's something odd here? I actually turned on the game early ago, just so I can power level some of my characters. One character that I have, Adele from this Gaia 2, He's really OP right now. And I'll probably show you what I mean when we get into the game. Anyway, actually, you know what? let's dive into it again and I'll show you. Here we go. And as you can see here, I'm going to be a little too loud. Now, as you can see here, Adele is now one of the highest level characters, but get a load of his stats. Attack power at 2,186, defense at 1,939, resistance at 1,278, hit at 1,082, speed at 2,348. Hold on. Check out his health and SP. 6,057, 1,342. Wanda, my other character, does. Well, she actually does have a bit of stats similar to that of uh, Dell, but. Not as much. Impressive, isn't it? Anyway, I've said my piece. Let's get down to business, shall we? A parallel world that has reached the pinnacle of scientific technology. Humans, who dreamed of flying like birds, now control the borders of the sky. They have created artificial light and have forgotten their fear of the darkness. These days, the humans have even unraveled the mysteries of all of God's creatures by breaking them down to their individual strands of DNA. This is the human world? It's gone through quite a transformation. Ah! What is going on with the air? It smells terrible! They seem to have focused on developing environmental pollution, poisoning the very air they breathe. Pathetic creatures. Man, I miss this place so much! It feels so weird. I'm only in a dream, but it feels like I haven't been here in a while. You! Ugh, how can you stand this smell? Huh? What smell? Did you fart or something? This air brings back memories. Desco hasn't been here since she was thrown away. Thrown away? You must have been through a lot. I admire you for being so cheerful, even after everything you've been through. But it's all Desco's fault for not being strong enough to be a final boss. Plus, afterwards, Desco was able to meet Pixis and grow in strength, so Desco was lucky to be thrown down to Hades. Strength? I hope you're not already satisfied with your current power level. Definitely not! Until Desco becomes the most badass final boss and gains Pixis' approval as a little sister, her battle isn't over! Good. That's what I like to hear. Your goal for now is to defeat Judge Nemo. That will help you become a final boss. Yes! Desco will keep learning. This is to become a magnificent... 
Fantasy and Final Boss! What's the matter, Welp? Worried about your father? We won't force you to come along with us if you don't want to. So, are you insisting that he stay with his father and live happily ever after, Mr. Sundere? Don't call me that! Unfortunately, the assumption is incorrect. I'm just telling him to run away to his father, where he belongs, if he's scared. I'm not going back! Why not? Didn't you guys make up? We did! Father didn't mean to abandon me. Were you surprised, Amizel? Or rather, disappointed in me? Your father, the ruler of the Netherworld, became a slave to the humans. No, please. Well, I was definitely surprised. I knew the tricks that the Corruptorment were playing weren't like you. But I never would have imagined that humans were to blame. I'm sorry, Imizel. I've put you through so much. The harsh treatment I'd given you was to protect the Netherworld as the President. It was also to keep you away from here. Away from the power of the human world. I know it sounds like I'm just making excuses now, but that was all I was able to do as your father. No, father. I'm the one who needs to apologize. Not only did I fail to meet your expectations, I didn't even realize all the problems you were bearing by yourself. I'm sorry. <laughs> You've grown so much, Amizo. You've learned much from Valvatores. He's just a... I have to go now, Father. So you're leaving? Yes. The human world needs correcting if the Netherworld is ever going to return to normal. Valvatoris possesses a superior ability, but he still needs a lot of help when it comes to the details. Plus, I personally have something against that Nemo guy for what he's done to you and everyone else in the Netherworld. I understand. The Netherworld's future is in your hands, my son. Yes, Father. Once I finish this mission, I'm going to run for president. So, did your daddy praise you for being a good demon? Why do you care? Now, I have an even greater goal. To become the president. After we defeat Nemo and bring order back to both the human world and the netherworld, you better be ready for me, Axel. What was that? like a chill of murderous intent just ran down my spine. It's gotta be one of my hardcore fans stalking me to kill me again. <laughs> my charisma is slowly spreading through this netherworld. It ain't easy being popular. Where are we? I'm not sure, but we're definitely in the human world. We were forcefully diverted here when the Dimension Guide attempted to connect with the human world. I'm assuming Judge Nemo interfered with the connection. As proof... Ah, I see he's well prepared to give us a warm welcome. Let's enjoy this opportunity to test the power of the human weapons which have controlled the netherworld for so long! Those are... what the hell are they doing here? Miss Fuka, do you know what they are? Yeah, they're almighty combat biosuits, codenamed Zodiac. They're super deadly suits of armor, designed to withstand all kinds of extreme conditions. It multiplies its wearer's power 500 times. Even if kindergartners were wearing one, they could kill a normal demon instantly. No, I see a flicker of intelligence coming from Fuka's brain. Your shock is understandable, but you're being rude, Mr. Amizo. It's only natural for Big Sis to know. The 
waiting for this conversation. They're coming. Everyone, get in position. Show you. I won't lose. Here I go.
sure they would have easily beaten normal demons, but they're no danger to us. Desco wasn't about to lose to them. Desco used to play with them all the time. Huh? Play with them? What do you mean by that? When Desco lived in the lab, she play-tested with them many times. Play-test? Sounds like fun. It was pretty fun. We beat each other up until one of us stopped moving. <laughs> oh, well, that seems interesting. Does that mean you in that lab? Yes. So you did attack me, didn't you? N no, it wasn't Tesco. Please believe Tesco, big sis. I don't believe you, but... Then who was it? Who attacked me? Desco doesn't know. Desco is sorry. I have something to ask you, too. What do you know, lass? What do you mean? It's understandable that Desco, who was created by humans, has a connection with these murderous weapons. But it's rather suspicious for you to know so much about those biosuits when you have no knowledge of anything else. Well, I just know a little bit about my dad's work. So, could there be some relation between Miss Fuka's father and Miss Desco? Yeah, right! That's impossible! Are you trying to say that my dad created Desco? That's insane! Big sis... Impossible or not, we'll find out eventually. But before that... We must get rid of the Peeping Tom right here. I'm impressed, Valvatores. You sensed my presence. You must have sensitive skin. I would have sensed your filthy presence whether I wanted to or not. It's rather unpleasant. <laughs> That's really mean. <laughs> Welcome to Earth, the land of rotten chaos. I can't believe you guys came here. You really don't know who you're dealing with. The one who doesn't know who they're dealing with is you, you foolish human with the title of judge. Well, I was just testing you guys before. You wouldn't be worthy of an invitation if you had died. I'm a busy man. I don't want to waste unnecessary time or money. But you guys passed my test. I'm welcoming you here as official guests. Our budget is limitless for you now. Just follow the path and you'll be set. Guests are treated like gods here. We'll give you the best service possible. Huh? Are you drunk? Calm down, we're starting to lose you. Oh, you know, I'm like, well, I don't want to offend anyone out there, but basically, I'm missing a bolt or two up here. Ah, well, then you can't help it, I guess. Ah, I'm glad you understand. You're a good man, Valvatores. Big Sis? What? Please believe Tesco. Tesco really didn't attack you. Okay, I get it. Let's just go. Big Sis? I wish I could believe her. But then... Who was it that attacked me? Dad, what were you working on in your lab? Ugh, nothing makes sense anymore.
is wide open. Show you. I shall re educate you.
What kind of service do you have lined up for us next, Judge Nemo? You better keep us entertained, or some of us might even start asking for compensation for having to put up with all of this. Are you talking about me, Mr. Vampire? What are you insinuating? Up next is the proof. Here's the proof that demons aren't needed in the human world. demons come from? This is Earth! What are these demons doing here? They're not demons. They're clones of demons, to be specific. Demon clones, you say? They are man-made demons, 
created from the demon cells that I obtained through the deal I made with the Corrupterate. The humans have created their own demons? That is just barbaric! How? Oh, I had no idea! So they're just like Desco, creatures created by humans. Tell me the dad is helping to create these demons too. This is supposed to be in my dream. That would never happen. Never! Isn't this fun, Valvatores? Humans have surpassed demons. You understand that, right? There's no room for demons anywhere anymore in this world, nor the other world. Demons no longer have the power to admonish humans. I'm the only one who can administer punishment. Nonsense! You're just a fool who keeps piling up sins under the name of Judge! Think you can replace real demons with artificial ones? Don't make me laugh! Ha-ha! I, we... We will show you the power of real demons!
Let's play. did take Hugo down, right? Oh, this is so entertaining. However, how are you guys able to use so much power when there is so little fear energy going around? It's all thanks to sardines! Sardines? The fish? Your powers are derived from sardines? That is correct! That is not correct! I hate fish! Don't include me in this! Mr. Vampire is probably the only one here who could obtain power from eating sardines. Each of us has a reason to get strong without depending on fear energy. Our strong will and motivation are the sources of our power. Uh-huh. I'll be able to create much stronger demons once I analyze your powers in depth. I really appreciate these guys. Demons. You mean those clones, right? Impossible! They are nothing but destructive weapons. Demons exist to admonish humans. Humans shouldn't be creating such things, ever! Demons aren't destructive weapons. We are the messengers of darkness, tasked with admonishing humans. Admonishing humans through fear? The messengers of darkness? How can you be so arrogant? Where were you when you were needed most, huh? Did you give humans the admonishment they deserved after what happened back then? No, you did not! What are you doing in this world where innocent lives are forsaken and life is extended to those who deserve to die? Hey, what are you saying? You still don't get it. Demons have neglected humans. Demons are useless. Valvatoris. You seem to have a great goal in mind, but it's worthless if you can't execute it. Besides, even if demons have finally remembered their responsibilities, it's too late. Demons should be content with acting as smart weapons, being deployed as I see fit. So, do you intend to destroy the human world with your weapons? If these things did invade Earth, all the hard-headed adults would get beaten up so quickly! Exactly. There's no use in admonishing humans. They deserve to wallow in regret, fall to despair, and head toward destruction. A final boss must kill everyone. That's imprinted in Tedesco's mind, too. But Tedesco was only gonna kill everyone except for Daddy and Big Sis. Judge Nima won't allow that. He'll destroy everyone, including Miss Fuka. I think he's crazy. Destroy humans, huh? What could be fueling all of your hatred towards them? Hatred? <laughs> that word doesn't even come close to describing my feelings towards them. Humans. They deserve to go extinct. 
Those worthless creatures continue to hate, envy, and fight each other to this day. They kill each other to indulge their desires. Pathetic. They're hopeless. That's why humans must be annihilated down to the very last one. Gods, angels, and demons, none of them are willing to do it. So I volunteered to be the bad guy. You have no right to be their ruler. The ruler of a world must protect its residents, not destroy them. Please, stop this nonsense! Humans still aren't as hopeless as you think they are. Sure, I might not have the right, but becoming the ruler was inevitable for me. It just happened while I was working on gaining enough power to destroy the human race. Hmm? Did he just totally ignore our, uh, Volcanus? Well, see ya. I'll go prepare the next show for you. That man, he didn't seem to notice the angel. He completely acted like Volcanus didn't even exist. He didn't see her? Why not? She was standing right in front of him. He... he's lost his faith thanks to his abundant hatred for the world. Human faith, the awe energy, is the source of all celestial servants' very existence. Humans that have strong faith receive more protection from the heavens, and sometimes they get to encounter us, holy beings. However, those humans that have no faith... ...don't receive any protection, nor will they ever get to see you. <laughs> it's a mercenary system, and you guys call yourselves holy. Judge Nemo. A man who denies demons and distrusts angels. Dad, please tell me it's not true that you didn't create Desco. But you were doing research day and night after Mom died. With your skills and knowledge, the biosuits and demon clones could have been... Are you okay, big sis? Sorry, I really don't feel like talking to you right now. Big Sis!
I come!
Human is coming this way. Hey, that's. Ha, I didn't think you'd make it back on your own, my finest weapon girl, Desco. <laughs> Daddy! Hey, what did you just call him? He's my dad. Yes, Desco knows. That's why you're Desco's big sister. <laughs> Whoa! Hey! What's the matter, lass? You finally gone mad? Lord, please excuse my audacity. However, this lass's insanity didn't just start right now. What the? Huh? My dad really created Jessica? The final boss to destroy all humans? My father turned out to be an enemy. What kind of space war story is this? Lass, what kind of man is your father exactly? If he created Desco, then he can't be just an ordinary human. Daddy is one of the most intelligent people in the world. His job title is Mad Scientist. Dad, is that his official job title? What the hell are you doing, Dad? Have you teamed up with that Nemo guy? Are you trying to destroy everyone? Huh? Well, I saw there was a girl wearing a weird hat. Didn't know that girl was you, Fulia. Huh? You just noticed me? I'm your daughter! Fuka, what are you doing here? I thought you went to hell. What? How can you say that about your own daughter? Well, you're not the head of the time. What the hell's your problem? Plus, I'm not even dead. Are you telling me that I died? Yep, you died. You definitely died. Ha! Now you've got a scientist backing it up. Finally, your death has been proven a fact. Now, lass, do you remember your promise? Now you must go through my intensive training to become a printing. Printy rule number one! You shall always include the word dude in every line you say. No! This is a dream! No, a nightmare! This is all some kind of misunderstanding. My dad would never help a villain destroy humans. So this can't be real! Shall re educate you. Ha!
go. Desko's going! Here I come! This is it! Yeah! <laughs> hmm! Science. It's only what we humans make it out to be. You can't fool me. You made Desco, the biosuits, the clones. You created all of them. That's right. What you think? Weren't they great? Although, they made improvements. Given that they were defeated by demons and lack access to fear energy. Young man. Just out of scientific curiosity, <laughs> where is all of your great power coming from? <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. Shut up! What, sardines again? Just stay out of this for now, will ya? Ah! You look busy, Papa Torres. But the party has just begun. Shall we start the main event? Dr. Kazumatsuri, could you please activate it now? Sure thing. Everything should be ready. I've been sending their battle data to it as we went, so it should be ready to go at any time. Of course, Doctor. My time and effort spent bringing you here has been well worth it for your abilities. Nah, it's the amount of funding you offer that helped me with my research. We both know that we're just using each other. There's no need for you to flatter me. You're all business, huh, Doctor? That's what I like about you. Anyway, 
It's all you now. Dad, why the hell did you team up with that guy? What is your research all about? I can't tell you yet, but you'll find out soon enough. Hey, wait! Don't run away from me, you old man! Like father, like daughter, he's unpredictable. He's... he's not my dad! He's never done a single thing for me that's even remotely father-like! So, you had no idea what kind of research your father was doing? I knew it was something related to the military, but I didn't think it was to destroy everyone. Looks like you've been through a lot, too. I think I understand now why you act so weird. Like you have a personality disorder. What part of me is weird? And don't pity me, fool! In any event, everything worked out in the end. Now it's been proven that you and Desko are half-sisters. That's what it seems like. Whether that's good or bad. Big Sis! Sorry, Desko. You were created, and then they treated you as a final boss, or destructive weapon, or whatever. It must have been hard. I'm so sorry that you had to go through all of that because of Dad. It's okay. Please don't worry about Desko, Big Sis. Desko is okay. All Desko wants is for Big Sis to approve of her as your little sister. Sure. Looks like I have no choice but to approve of you as my little sister. At least until I wake up from this dream. <laughs> I'm so happy for you, Miss Desko. Anyway... Is Fuga still gonna keep saying that this is just her dream? Huh? Hey, I didn't get to find out anything about who attacked me! Your father should know that, right? He made it pretty clear that you're dead. I said I'm not dead! I'm sure we'll find out the truth during the upcoming main event. Oh? What makes you so sure? Because that's the most dramatic way to reveal this truth! Oh, I see. You're rather convincing for some reason. Why don't you just start the main event already? You're so impatient. Do you know that the final moments of your lives are just around the corner? Well, see ya. Doctor, it's all you now. Dad! What are you gonna do to us now? You might not know this about me, but I'm kind of a movie fanatic. Remember that one about the dinosaur clones? Well... That movie inspired me to create demon clones! And this time, I collected only the highest quality cells from those clones to create this one! The ultimate final weapon! The true final boss! The true final boss? Finally, the time has come! Desko will meet her! So you know who it is? The true final boss? Yes, she is the completed form of the final weapon that defeated Desko and cast her into Hades. The final weapon, Desko, perfect version. Her name is Des X. So she is the main event? The true final boss! She looks a lot like Miss Desko. A lot? 
The only thing different about her is the color. Was that a cost-cutting tactic by the creator? Explain this to us, lass. Don't ask me. Go ask my dad if you really want to know. Shut up, scum. You. How dare you call my lord scum, being that you are a mere man-made monster. What's wrong with calling scum, scum? I am the most powerful, true, final boss, Lady Desex! Desex! Well, well, what a surprise. I didn't know who to expect, but... I didn't think I was gonna see two of the punks I killed before. Two? Why do you keep getting in my way? Do you want to be killed again? Huh? Why is that? Desko? Fuka? <gasps> oh, so it was you! You were the one who attacked me! That's right. I killed you with my own hands. That's two witnesses now, including your father. And this time, it's the killer herself. Lass, it's been proven already. You are already dead. No, I am not! See? I'm here. I'm alive. Look! So you haven't realized it, huh? How annoying. Okay. Just have to kill you over and over again until you accept it. Be my guest. Shut up! I am totally not dead. And this is just my dream. So it's impossible for me to die. That's right. Plus, Big Sis has Desco. And Desco will not let Big Sis die! <laughs> Listen to you, Desco. Have you forgotten how you were killed so pitifully after trying to keep up with my functionality? Never! That memory is embedded inside Desco's memory chip! Desco isn't the same Desco you faced back then! Desco will not lose! Are you saying you've been training in Hades or something? Give me a break. You're kidding, right? You're just a prototype. A test model they created in the process of completing me. No matter how much stronger you've gotten, there's not even a 1% chance for you to defeat me. What? That's not true. Desco is my little sister. Me, who's going to be the ruler of Earth, and Desco, who's going to be the strongest final boss. There is no way this golden and gorgeous duo will lose to you! Sis! Oh, what are you talking about? You're just a ghost. A dead human. Whatever. I'll just smash you, along with your soul, so you'll never be able to talk to me like that again. I won't let that happen. I'm not going to allow any more of this autocratic crap by humans. If the entire human world becomes evil, Celestia will be out of business. For our future profits, I back Miss Desco up entirely. And for free. For now. Always for my lord. I will kill whoever stands in my lord's path to supremacy. Jeez, none of you can just admit that you want to help me and Desco? Everyone, Desco is so happy! Desco is feeling more energized. This must be the power of friendship. This is a great lesson for our final boss. Mm-hmm. Finally, this is starting to feel like the main event. Everyone! Let's win this battle for Desco and the Lass! 
Know your place, scum! I'll kill all of you if that is what you wish!
the true final boss! It's... it's... our victory! <laughs> See? I told you we, the golden and gorgeous duo, weren't gonna lose! Um, I doubt you two would have won that battle on your own. We helped you win, you know? That was a lot of trouble. Sure, true final bosses are a lot of trouble, I suppose. No, I'm talking about the lass's father for creating that thing. He created a final boss to destroy the human world. Does he hate humans as well? He was a weirdo to begin with. But I didn't think he wanted to destroy everyone. Maybe he just went crazy after Mom died. You don't know anything. You have no idea. You don't know a thing about your own father. His thoughts and motivation, nor the reason why he became one of the villains. What's your problem? Why are you yelling at me? You don't know anything. Just because you're his daughter, you expect that you could act however you want and still be loved. In comparison, Desko and I are only artificial beings. We'll never be his real daughters, no matter how much we want to be. So, what's your point? Shh, Miss Fuka. Just listen to what she has to say. She might just be... I can't be his real daughter. I knew that from the start. But I still envied you. I hated you so much. So I killed you to make you disappear from this world. But you still had the nerve to come back afterwards. You're still trying to have Daddy all to yourself. You... Really? Des X, Daddy is also Big Sis's Daddy. It's sad, but we're... Shut him up! Daddy is my daddy! He's mine and no one else's! Fuka, Desko, and your stupid friends! You're all eyesores to me! Die! Huh? That's the reason you killed me? What you find so great about that stupid old man? I'm gonna beat you up and put an end to your fantasies! And this! I'll show you sardine power!
this. I got this. to be exact. Where is all this power coming from? Fuka, damn! How did she power up like that? <laughs> it's no big deal. It's probably just an adrenaline rush or something. That's not important. I'm just really mad right now. You're mad? Please. There's no way I'll admit this defeat. I still see the energy in her eyes, as expected from the true final boss. That's right. Until I kill every single one of you, I won't. I won't! Ah! Desex has begun to regenerate! I don't remember equipping her with that kind of function. This is amazing! You're amazing, Desex! Amazing? Do you even know why she's able to do this, Dad? No, not at all. You're so stupid, Dad. You might be a genius scientist, but you're the stupidest man ever. If you weren't like this, this wouldn't have happened. Desco wouldn't have been thrown out! I... I didn't have to die. So you finally admitted it. It's about time. Indeed, it's settled that you're a pretty. Shut up! That's not the point right now! I'm talking about Dad! After Mom died, you escaped into your work and left me all alone. You created Desco and Des X, but you ended up making them feel the same way I did. What are you doing, Dad? Don't you care about anything besides your research? Don't you ever think about our feelings? No, I... Big Sis, you don't understand? Daddy loves you. How can I believe that? Daddy talked about you all the time.
like how you wouldn't take baths with him anymore, how you treat his laundry like filthy objects, or how you stole money from him. Miss Desco, those are just simple complaints. Is there anything more heartwarming? He bragged about how sweet you are at heart, even when you were in your rebellious stage in middle school. He still has the portrait of him that you drew when you were five. He even showed it to Desco. Daddy's favorite story of you was when you two went to a summer festival when you were only four years old. He had to look for you for hours because you got lost, but you had already gone home by yourself. But still, Daddy was so proud of you for that. He said that you were already an amazing child by the time you were four. Hmm. Not that I remember. Everything he does is for you, including his research. You're the only one who doesn't know that. No, you're lying. He focused on his research because he wanted to escape from everything after Mom died. That was what Mommy asked Daddy to do, to continue his research, to make your wish come true. My... wish? Uh-huh. Me, Desco, the demon clones, we were all created for you! That's how much Daddy loves you. No, that's not true! Yes, X is right, Big Sis. Daddy loves you. He loves you with all his heart. No way! I don't believe it! What's my wish anyway? I don't remember wanting this. You don't? Oh, you used to throw big tantrums about it. Mm, pestering me and Mom all the time. You said you wanted a little sister. Did. But Mom died soon after that. Big sis. But seriously, you remembered that from so long ago? And created these little sisters for me, Dad? That's right, Fuka. I created Desco and Desex just for you. The final weapons, Desco and Des X, were not created to destroy the human world after all. They were the fruition of a father's love for his daughter, to make her wish come true. All of the misunderstandings that had piled up were resolved, and the defeated Des X was finally released from her destiny to be the final boss of the human world. This battle where a pretty girl and the kinship between her family members had saved the human world and netherworld would lead to the improved Prinny treatment movement in the future, which eventually led to Prinny War II. However, not being aware of future events, Fuka and her father simply enjoyed the reunion. They embraced each other, reaffirming their feelings of love and happiness. I worked really hard for this. Did you really think I'd be happy to have these freaking killing machines as my little sisters? What the hell were you thinking? But, but, you're the one who wanted this. You said, I want a little sister. With advanced functionality, who is gonna help me take over the world? <laughs> Trying to become a final boss for Buka's sake, Desko? Yes! All is for Big Sis! And you're going to take over the world with Miss Buka as the final boss? Yes! Desko was created to help Big Sis take over the world! Hmm. Now I'm concerned. They're lying! They're totally making things up right now! I even have proof! Like the Christmas video! <laughs> when you were five! No! This isn't. You're just all trying to trick me! Tesco has seen that too! Big Sis was so cute! 
Now I see. I didn't think you were normal, but I had no idea you possessed such ambition. It's only natural that you fell to Hades. <laughs> this is quite amusing. This isn't funny! No, no way! This can't be real! This is a dream! I know it! This is a nightmare! Enough fooling around, bastards! The hell's this farce? Fight, Desex! One more time! Kill them all! Then all of humanity! No way. This is getting kind of boring. Plus, I'll only listen to Daddy. Why didn't you do it yourself if you wanted so badly? You... Who do you think funded your development, you useless puppet? <laughs> He's showing his true nature. This fox suits you rather well. Judge Nemo! Your ambitions have been crushed! Your Hades of destruction will never happen! <laughs> My ambitions have been crushed? <laughs> You've got it all wrong, Valvatores! I've been setting up devices everywhere to prepare for humanity's destruction for a long, long time! You guys have only awakened another dream! A nightmare of demolition! The destructive might of Hades! Nightmare of demolition! That's right! I'm lighting a giant firecracker! The big round moon is gonna go... Kaboom! shocking revelation is dropped on us after we suppressed a foolish rebellion in the human world. Is he really going to blow up the moon? The truth is! Did you know that various kinds of fish larvae are used in Chirimanjaco? I thought Chirimanjaco was the name of an actual fish. <laughs> and there's more. It's the same deal with Kamagi Shirasu. Ah! I thought the same thing about Kamagi Shirasu. That's right. Shirasu usually refers to any kind of fish larva, but the larva of Japanese anchovies are the most commonly eaten shirasu. Okay, so? Next time, final episode, the Sardine Galaxy. Space sardines conquer the sea of stars. It's another page in the history of sardines. I will stop the destruction of the moon. You're blowing up the moon? Are you serious? The moon? You mean, like the moon in the sky moon? The moon that orbits our planet. The moon is going to blow up? Oh no! We won't be able to admire it anymore! Bastard! How could you go after the moon of all things? So much hatred towards humans. Isn't there any way to stop him? Hey, wait. H how are you gonna do that? Shoot a nuclear missile up there? Who knows? I don't really know the details either. You don't know? Well, I thought you were orchestrating this. Unfortunately, no. I wish I could finish the job using the technology that the humans invented themselves. But the good doctor and Des X ended up being useless. So I decided to go with Plan B. So you're gonna blow up the moon using the technology outside of Earth? Ah, uh, ha! You're gonna use angels this time, aren't you? Hmm. Desco senses the arrival of a new final boss. No matter what kind of power he's going to use, all life will be lost if the moon is destroyed. We can't let that happen! Yeah, this is serious! There are gonna be meteors falling from the sky, like in those disaster movies! Multiple tsunamis due to the regular tides and other abnormal phenomena from changes in our rotational energy. There won't be any chance for human survival. Oops! 
and the fear energy will be gone along with the humans. So no more netherworld either. You sound like you're enjoying this. You're going to die too if that happens. Die? Hmm. I wonder if I really will. What do you mean by that? Don't you have a plan to survive your own disaster? I don't know. I might or I might not. Please, stop this! You've done enough! You're not going to please anyone by doing this! Huh? He's totally ignoring her. So he really can't hear the voice of an angel. Judge Nemo, I'll take this as a challenge. You've intentionally revealed your plan in the hopes that we'll stop you. Yep, that's exactly why I told you. Would you accept my challenge, Valvatorez? Do I have a choice? So this is the kind of deal you struck with the president, eh? <laughs> Think it's unfair? No! This is how you try to get what you want, then do as you wish. I'll crush every attempt you make, and then I'll crush that grinning face! Ooh, nice. That makes me want to see your face contorted with pain. Sounds like we're running out of time. Let's go, everyone! Um, are we really going... Indeed! We are going to the moon! Final episode! The final battle! The moon, Earth, and the promise! Be so tense, Fenric. We will definitely stop the destruction of the moon, I promise. My lord. Plus, it's about time you started trusting the other members of the party. The only things I trust are my own abilities and my lord, Velvatores. I will trust nothing else, nor will I rely on them. This is the way of Fenric. Ah, you're right. Let's hurry. On to the moon! So, how do we get there? Shouldn't your dad be able to prepare a rocket or some kind of a space shuttle for us? This is the final battle! Desko wants something cooler, like a space battleship or, or a super robot! That would help a lot. It's not like there's just going to be an old man and his bunnies waiting for us on the moon. Instead of wasting that kind of labor and money, I've already made a dimension tunnel to the moon. We'll simply need to talk to the dimension guide as usual. Then we'll instantly be on the moon. What? That's so not cool! Boring! Where's the fun in that? Shut up! I'll turn you into floating space debris if you keep whining, you damn lass! How could you speak like that to Big Sis? Desko will never forgive you! You should only say those things when you're not hiding behind your older sister. I'm just saying. Is it just me or is Fenric in a worse mood than usual? He might actually turn Buka into floating space debris. It's only natural. The werewolf's power source, the moon, is being threatened. That's not the only reason. The moon is the symbol of my loyalty to my lord. Those who try to taint such a thing must be abolished as quickly as possible. Oh my! Did you hear that, Miss Desko? Something about the moon being the symbol of his loyalty to his lord. I'm super curious! Desko is curious too, Pinsis. What about you, Miss Valkanis? Yup, yup. The truth about the relationship between those boys is about to be revealed. It's me shivers down my spine. <laughs> oh, Miss Volcanus, that's a little vulgar, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> you two big sis, you're drooling! Now, as we promised, 
time is the last time. Shall we continue to work together to discover the truth? <laughs> I'm never getting mad, and these are songs I vow to the moon. There's only two more chapters left in this Gaia 4. And frankly, this is starting to get darker and darker. <laughs> I mean, even for a series that likes to poke fun at itself and poke fun at events, I always like it when uh, games like this Gaia get a little darker in terms of the storyline. And not just this Gaia, but any franchise at least uh, sounds lighthearted first and then goes into a darker territories. That's what I like to dive into. And it says a lot. Now, before the next round, I will try to power level my characters more. Maybe reincarnate either uh, Fuka or Desko or Volcanus and re-level them again. And another thing, uh, just want to give you a heads up. There's going to be a Switch Watch coming up based on Nintendo's newest game coming out. I think it's called uh, Game Factory Garage or something like that. Uh, good lord. It just, the, uh, the trailer just came out recently, and uh, I actually am going to talk about it in a quick Switch Watch sometime tomorrow. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Or by tomorrow, I mean today, because by the time you're looking at this video on YouTube, it will be the next day, May 6th. By the end of the day, I will, let me repeat, I will have the Switch Watch up based on Nintendo's upcoming game making creation great why am i stuttering all of a sudden and i almost feels like porky pig of all p of all looney tunes <laughs> but until then stay safe stay healthy <laughs>